What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So even though the MLB season has just recently ended, that doesn't mean we're going to stop making baseball videos. And as I was looking at my very nice lap rose jerseys, the one that I got on and the more back here, I was thinking I should rank the MLB jerseys. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's get into it. So today we are starting with the MLB home jerseys. And if you guys are interested in this video, I will rank the away or alternate jerseys next week. Those jerseys are a little more interesting. It looks like all the home ones are pretty much just white, which is kind of boring, but that's why I got my white lap rose jersey on. I guess that's pretty fitting for the video. So we're gonna start with the categories of my tier list first. At S tier, we got the best. At A tier, we got good. At C tier, we got average. And then D is bad, and then, what is it, D? <laughs> No, I already said D. E is the worst at the bottom. So I figured I'd start with the best for first. As you guys all know, I am a Yankees fan. If you're gonna tell by the big flag right over there. We're gonna start with the Yankees in the best, which comes as no surprise. I think the Yankees pinstripes are just super classic and everyone has seen the Yankees jersey. It's super, um, super well known and I just think it's really clean. So we're gonna put that in the best. Okay, next up we got the Astros. And uh, as I mentioned, they're all kind of white jerseys, so it's kind of hard to determine which is the best. But the Astros got this, uh, they got a nice little striping. Um, I kind of like their logo on it. I think I'm going to put them in the, the good, even though I can't stand the Astros. Got to give them credit where it's due. And they are the reigning champ, so we got to put them up there. All right, next up, similar to the Yankees, the Mets coming from New York as well. They got the classic pinstripes as well. And they got the cool uh, Mets logo with the orange outlining. So I think I'm going to put that up next to the Yankees as well. It's kind of hard to justify the Yankees being the best and the Mets not right next to them when they pretty much have the same jerseys. <laughs> All right, next up, the Phillies, which is another pinstriped uh, jersey. And I think the Phillies are really good as well. I like the pinstripes. Got the cool logo across the chest. I'm a big fan of like the cursive logos, and the Mets and the Phillies both have that. So I'm going to put that in the best as well. Okay, now we have the Rockies and another pinstripe jersey, but they kind of have a lame logo across the chest. Um, not as much of a fan as the Rockies. I think I'm gonna put that in the average because the spelling of Rockies is kind of not as good. All right, now we have the Blue Jays, which is a solid white with nice blue trimming. And they have their name and the logo, which looks really sick in my opinion. I think I'm gonna put the Blue Jays in the good. I like how they included the logo on that. And now we have the Brewers. This is the first kind of change here in colors. The Brewers got the white, but they got the um, yellow and like dark bluish uh, trimming around them. And I like their logo. It's pretty cool um, across the chest. I'm going to put that in good as well. Next, we have the Nationals. Um, the Nationals is pretty good as well. They got the nice trimming similar to the Astros down the middle. And uh, I like their logo a lot. It's on the left chest. Here. Uh, I think the Nationals go up and good. One thing you guys are going to notice is that all these jerseys kind of look the same because they're all made by Nike and these are all the home jerseys which means most of them are white. So that's why I wanted to do the alternate away jerseys next video because there's those are more interesting. They got some cool colors and stuff so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. That'll be coming out next week. Okay all right next up are the Diamondbacks. Not bad, not bad. Um, Kind of, kind of ununique there. You can't really tell it's a D-backs jersey besides the word D-backs across. I think I'm gonna put that one in average. Okay, then we got the Cardinals. Uh, very simple here, just plain white, solid white. But then they got the Cardinals name and the birds on the back, which looks really cool. I like their logo. I think I'm gonna put that in good. And then we got the Rays, um, similar to the Astros and the Nationals. They got the um, solid lines down the middle and the Rays logo is pretty solid. Uh, I think we can put Rays in average. It's not great. It's not horrible. And then we got the Reds. And if you guys watched the MLB logos uh, video that Isaiah and I did, we were cracking up over the Reds. It's such a lame like name for a team. It's literally just the Reds. But on this jersey they got the uh, lines down the middle and they got the C with the Reds in the middle. Um, it's a decent jersey. I'm gonna put that in average as well. And the Giants are up next. Uh, Giants is pretty basic here, just solid white, 
It's almost like cream color, which is, I give them credits, different than just the boring white. Um, but the logo is pretty simple. It's just like block letters. I think I'm gonna put the Giants at average. And then I really like the Padres. Padres got the solid logo, so it just says Padres, pretty uh, basic block letters. But their pinstripes look really nice. It's like a bluish uh, pinstripes. And I think I'm gonna put those in the best as well. I'm just a fan for pinstripes, as you guys can tell. Um, next up are the Braves. Pretty solid, um, decent logo. I like the cursive. And then they got the little hammer underneath. I'm not as much of a fan of the uh, lines down the middle. There's a lot of those jerseys. So it's pretty much either, it's pretty much either the line down the middle, pinstripes are solid, um, which is kind of boring that all the home jerseys are like that. But I think I'll put the Braves in average. And then I think this might be one of the worst ones, the Rangers. Um, it's like, it's not cursive, it's just kind of like weird writing. It just has the name Rangers, and then solid color. I'm gonna put that in bad, first bad of the day. Uh, Orioles are up next, and even though I'm a Yankees fan, I do really like these um, AL East jerseys. The Orioles got the really cool Orioles logo. I always like the Orioles uh, lettering, but I wish they put the bird on it. I think it would be in best, but I'm gonna put in good because they don't have the bird. And then similarly, we got the Athletics, who have the cursive uh, lettering as well, but it's nothing besides that. I think I'll put it in average. I like green, it's a little different than all the other jerseys, but nothing much going on there. And then this tier list has, yeah, the Guardians here, which if you guys watched the, uh, the other video I was talking about, Isaiah and I did not like the name Guardians. I, think, I feel like it's so lame. The Indians was cool, it's a cool name. They changed all their branding. And I'm just not a fan of the Guardians, so I'm gonna put them in bad. Really don't like the new name. Uh, we got the Pirates up next. Pirates are not too bad. They got the yellow and black lettering, but it's pretty blocky and basic. And not much going on there. I'll put that in average. And then we got the Tigers. Um, Tigers actually have a logo of one of the few logos on these jerseys this year. And uh, I give them credit for that. I think I'll put it in good. Now, I don't know too many Tigers fans. Um, they were good for a little while, but they haven't been good in a long time. I'll put them in good. Okay, we're in our final stretch here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight jerseys left. Let's uh, bang them out here. We got the Mariners, who have a wide uh, lettering, um, kind of blocky. I'm not a huge fan of the block lettering. I think I'll put Mariners in bad. They could do a lot more. They have a really cool logo, and they should put it on, but they don't have it there. And then the Red Sox, supposed to be the Yankees' mortal enemies, um, but I'm a fan of their jerseys. They got really cool lettering. They got the uh, stripes down the middle. It's all right. I think I'm gonna put them in good, decent jersey there. And then the Dodgers, which might be one of my favorites. I wish they had pinstripes on this jersey, but the Dodgers logo is super classic. It's got the cursive lettering. I think I'll put the Dodgers in the best. And then back to the pinstripes, we got the Cubs. I'm glad they put their Cubs logo instead of just lettering, and they got pinstripes, really good. Gonna put them in the best as well. Um, and then we got the Angels, who have decent lettering. Um, it's solid white, which I'm not a huge fan of, and uh, no one really cares about the Angels besides Otani and Trout, so we're gonna put them in average. And then we got the White Sox. Back to the pinstripes again. Cool logo, they got the socks across. Um, it's a logo instead of a name, which I'm a huge fan of. I think we'll put the Sox in good. Not bad, not bad. And then our last two here, we got the Miami Marlins. So what do we think about Miami? They got a little interesting lettering. It's not cursive, it's not block letters, but it's just solid white and no logo. We'll put them in average. And finally, we're down to the Royals for our last jersey. The Royals got the cursive, solid white. Um, I don't know if they'd look good with pinstripes, so I think I'll put the Royals in good. Poor twins, this is actually pretty funny. The tier list template that I used forgot to add the twins jersey in. No one even remembers that the twins are a team. Um, so I'm just gonna rank them here real quick. They got a decent logo, um, red trimming on the sleeves. I think that was pretty decent. I'll put it in average. So, that is a wrap on the MOB home jerseys tier list. It's a quick one today. Just wanted to bang out a video for you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, I will do the away alternate jerseys next week. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and leave me a comment what you would rank these jerseys as. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the weekly baseball video. See you next time.